It adds that unique zing to our meals. Chilies burn up just about every dish at this popular Thai restaurant, but everyone has their limit when it comes to heat. Not too much, just a little kick into the food, yeah. You get like the stomach pains, right? So you don't feel good afterwards. I always thought it kind of thinned out the blood, your blood anyway, so. <laughs> Some of us love spicy food, despite the way it makes us feel. The chef thinks she knows why. Just raise your, raise your heart rate. For the more your heart rate raised, it's just pumping out very good blood flow to all your body, your face get red. In a seven-year self-reported study of nearly half a million people in China, those who ate spicy food were more likely to avoid disease, even death. Spicy food eaten a couple of times a week reduced mortality by 10 percent. Eating it more often reduced the risk even further. The link was stronger among people who didn't drink alcohol. Fresh and dried chilies were the most commonly used spices in the study, but it's people who ate fresh chilies in their food that seem to have the lower instances of diabetes, cancer and heart disease. The study does not prove cause and effect. Still, it seems to support existing research into the anti-inflammatory benefits of capsaicin, the biochemical ingredient found in chili peppers. But eating other fresh fruits and vegetables has similar benefits. So turning up the heat just a little bit couldn't hurt. If you like spicy uh, spices? Uh, definitely add, add the spices uh, into the mix uh, with the proviso that if, if you're you know, eating a lot of spicy food, uh, washing it down with a six-pack of beer is probably not a good idea. For the chef, the science backs up what she's known all along. Eat spicy food makes you strong. My dad, he's 83 years old, and he's still, like, very healthy. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.